Okay, so I'm doing a shunt mod on the uh, Seeker 24. And first of all, they made getting this open a pain in the butt. And they <laughs> bury the shunts underneath the wires. And they silicone the wires into the casing. And there's short wires that go right there. So you really can't. It, there's no wiggle room. It's 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 crazy. But um, I'm going to try to be as careful as possible and shunt those two mods together. And we're just going to do the one controller for now and test out how that is. Okay, so I got the um, the wire zip tied a little bit. I push the shunts together as close as possible. Now I'm going to add some solder. Now it looks like a solid connection, you know. But uh, yeah, let's have some solder. And I gotta be careful with that blue wire. Okay, so I have the batteries put back in. When I turn on the bike, um, there should be like a little red LED that flashes somewhere on the board. I think it's either that LED or it's gonna come on somewhere if everything didn't short circuit. <laughs> and there we go. Okay, so I got one side tensioned in, all right? And as soon as I move it, it comes out. It's like the most annoying thing ever. I can sit it in the channel. All right. And I can get it to lock on that side. And let's say I uh, dig a little deeper, put more into it, right? You would think. And it pops out. I just can't figure this out. and pop out too bad with me. That's it. That is... That's how I think. That's how I think. I'm gonna hold this so I can kind of pry it more down. But yeah, I think I am done. Finally.
All right. So, pain in the ass, but I got it back in. Hopefully, this thing screws back in, and I'm going out for a ride. So, yeah, I should have probably tucked it in a little bit more, but uh, I think we can... Good thing, good thing. Yeah, there we go. All right. Yep, now that I can seal, I'll put the bolts back on. I'll put the controller back in the housing. Let's go for a ride.